Welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Linan. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet. Sometimes it's about knitting and sometimes it's about yarn, but mostly it's about my journey through this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me. Um, Mondays, I usually update you on the make-alongs I'm doing um, and other stuff. Uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I did. Uh, Saturday, Tom and I went to Junk in the Trunk, which is a flea market in Oxford, Florida. Uh, it's a once a month thing. You guys, if you are in the area and you can get there, it's really, really well worth it. Uh, yesterday, and I think next, ne well, maybe not. I know they're doing some uh, pick your own strawberries. I know they did last week. They were doing it. Um, so they have a big farm stand there. It's just, it's a really fun experience. You can find everything from dollar store crap right up into high-end antiques and everything in between. It is a really great experience. I We love going. I mean, we don't go all the time, but we've been the last couple of weeks or last couple of months. It's only a once a month thing. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, and I scored you guys. If you saw my Facebook page, you got a preview of what I've picked up. It's amazing. Um, and then Sunday, I drove up to Nancy's house from She's Got Yarn Too, and I picked up um, some bags of boggy blankets to put in my car to deliver next week. I can't believe we're getting ready to deliver all these blankets. She's got, well, 1,012 at this point. Uh, bags and bags and bags pouring out of her bathroom and in her spare bedroom. We dubbed the one in her spare bedroom Mount Boggy because it almost reaches the ceiling. It is amazing and heartwarming and oh my god. Uh, so yeah, I, I did that yesterday. Um, and what else did I do? Oh no, no, you know, I crocheted a little bit here and there. Um, so make-alongs. Let's start with the make-along that I have some progress on because the others, I, I don't. Um, this first one is the uh, Turnpike Creations 24. Hashtag Turnpike Creations 24. It is a uh, make-along with uh, Gina from the Knitting Turnpike and Judy from Judy's Creations and Crochet. They're both listed below. Go check out their channels to see if you can get the more information on the uh, crochet slash knit along, make along, whatever you want to call it. Um, what they've done is they've picked two patterns, one knit and one crochet from the same designer. They're basically the same pattern um, and we're doing it. Well, I have started mine and I am making really good progress. And you can see it's turning, it's an, uh, a biased scarf, shawl, wrap, whatever you want to call it. It's really pretty. I love the, I love the pattern. It's very easy pattern to remember once you get going. Um, it's a six row repeat, super meditative, not hard to do. Um, the colors that I'm using, and these are still sitting on my wool genie, um, and I hope I have these in the right order. Let's see. I can tell you. Okay, that's that one. The, the solid one down here is from uh, Mosaic Moon uh, hand-dyed yarns in the color Rust Orange, and this one is 60% it's this one down here, merino, 30% bamboo, and 10% uh, nylon, MBN sock. There's 380 yards, and these are all fingering weights. This one here is from the Yarn Bliss box by Speckled Finch Studios, and it's their hardy sock, which is 7525 uh, merino nylon, and this color is called Fuga Time. And then I'm getting ready to start the third one, which is this one, and this is called from uh, Knit Crate La Brabus, and the color is called Chestnut, and it's 100% Baby Alpaca. Get close, you can see the colors. Aren't those pretty together? I just, I'm really excited um, where this shawl is going. It's going to be really pretty, and uh, like I said, I just have a 
let's see, two more, three more rows. Yeah, two more rows, and then I can start uh, with the the dark chestnut color, which I'm really excited about. So I'll probably get to that today um, to put some more uh, rows on this. Um, I think I have until the beginning of March to finish this one. So I've got a couple weeks and um, I'm taking my time with this one because I'm gonna, you know, let this one draw out because I've got other things that I need to finish. And I'll talk about Sydney's cardigan on Wednesday because it's coming along real good. But the other make along that I'm doing, um, that I, I'm in the planning stages here is the, uh, Judy's creations and crochets monthly, which is the picture of the bird. And again, go check out Judy's channel, check out the picture of the bird for this month. I honestly, I struggled to find something to go with this picture. Um, I picked out this because this has the blue and the grays um, that are part of the bird. And this is yarn art magic. And one night in Zoom, I just started making a really long pocket scarf. <laughs> and I'll probably finish this because I like this yarn. I have three of these and it's 100% wool, um, 100 grams, 218 yards. I don't know if there's a colorway. I don't know that there's a color. I think it's just a, a number. Made in Turkey, number four, 100%. Well, yeah, I don't see a color on it, but it's really pretty with the grays and the teal. And I really like the colors. So I'm probably gonna finish this um, at some point. And it's just gonna be, a uh, a random uh, pocket shawl. Just something, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's just something. We'll figure it out as we go. So, but then I'm like, no, that's not enough color. So I was looking through my stash and I found this. Now this has got some sparkle in it. This is a um, Joann's Casey Cotton, their hand paint painted cotton that I picked up on Clarence. And it's got the blues and the pink and some white in it with the sparkle. I wasn't thrilled with this one either. I mean, it, it would work, but I'm still like... Mm. And then I, digging through my stash, I found this, which is one of my um, Avery Lane's creation sock yarn uh, club. This one's called Speckled Blitz on their Lush Sock. And this has got all the colors in it. And I thought, well, I could do a CJ Brady, um, you know, one skein because there's 440 yards on this. And then I thought, well, I could always add this in if I needed to for a little extra. And this is some Willow Stream um, yarn, which is 70% um, superwash wool, 30% uh, silk, but it's lace weight. It's a zero. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty and it would, and it really does do well for the picture. I don't know, you guys. I This one has me on the struggle bus for, for colors. And then... We went to the flea market on Saturday and this lady had this tub sitting in front of a table and it was sitting on the ground. And what caught my eye at first was she had some yarn bee yarn sitting on top and they were marked a dollar a skein. And I picked them up and I was going to get them. I'm like, for a dollar? Why not? It's good to have in your stash. It was one of the uh, variegated. I don't even remember what colors they were. Well, when I picked it up, underneath was this gorgeousness. Look at the colors in this. It's more blue than purple. But look at this beautiful, beautifulness. And this is from a company called um, Cherry Tree Hill. I don't think they're in business anymore. I looked them up online. 
Um, their Google says they're permanently closed. And in 2015 on Facebook, they were doing an auction of uh, antique buttons. And that's the last uh, post from 2015. So this has obviously been in somebody's stash for a while. Um, it is what they call their glitter thick and thin, 75% wool, 20% mohair, 15, 5% metallic, 374 yards. The colorway is called Martha's, Martha's Vineyard. I'm going to use this, you guys. I think this is going to be what my bird is going to look like. I think it's, it, it really looks good with the picture. Um, like I said, it's more blue than purple. I don't, it's showing up really purple, but I love this yard. It feels really nice. Um, not really thrilled about the metallic, you know how I am about that. But I think for, you know, a one skein project, I think I can do it. Um, I kind of like ran my fingers over it. I don't see where it gets, you know, I think that's about as thin as it gets right there, which to me is probably a thick three, thin four, but I don't even see anything that gets much thicker than a thicker four. So uh, maybe it's, it's hiding in there. We'll see. So anyway, in this said pile from this lady, she also had some minis from the same company, um, some 50 gram minis. And these are all, um, this is called Glitter Alpaca, uh, fingering weight of 90% uh, alpaca, or 99% alpaca, 1% glitter. And this colorway is called Foxy Lady. This one is a mess. <laughs> these are all, I gotta, I think I'm gonna have to take these and cake them up. Um, this one is Surrey Alpaca Lace Weight, 50 grams, 466 yards. And the color is called Wild Cherry. It is so soft. I'm so excited about that. And then this one is their glitter alpaca again, 232 yards. And this one is called Spring Frost. Isn't that pretty? You can just see, oh, it's so gorgeous. And then I have two of these. And this one's Surrey Lace again, 100% Surrey Alpaca Lace Weight, 466 yards. And this colorway is called, okay, it's stuck. Come on now. Serengeti. And look at that. I love, the, this is my favorite. I have two of those. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lace Weight but it is so gorgeous and so soft. So those were the minis. So after I saw this giant beautifulness, I saw this, and this is just Cloudborn Fibers, but it's their um, Highland uh, fingering in the color Majestic Purple. And I believe, yeah, it says 100% Highland wool. And it's just that really pretty dark royal purple, you know, like you think of royalty. So that's that color. Then there was this, and this one makes me so sad. Somebody has cut this, you can see. So I'm gonna have to make like minis out of it or something, but you can see somebody has cut this. Isn't that sad? But this is uh, Merino Lace Fine merino wool shrink resistant made in Italy for yeah I don't know the name of the company and of course there's a color number and a dye lot Skay shell collection I think is the name on there I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because the glare because it's gray there yeah, it's not fake. It's not focusing. But it's a really nice, soft, merino, beautiful 
uh, but the poor thing is just, it's cut in so many places. It's going to have to be doctored back to something resembling maybe mini skeins or something. So yeah, it's so sad, but it's, I rescued it. It's so soft and beautiful. Um, we're getting a lot of purples here and I don't normally try, you know, go for purples. And then the last one, this is the one that I was like jumping up and down. I can't believe that people walked away from this. This was Mango Moon 100% Silk. Look at that gorgeousness. It's just, and it's soft and silky. And um, it says on the back that it provides safe shelter, health care, and education to women in Nepal. Now, I can tell you, this, is, this has been in somebody's stash for a while. But look at all those beautiful colors with the orange and the teal and the dark reds and the mustard colors. It is, it's beautiful. All of that, I paid $35. I love flea markets, you guys. It was, yeah, this was the score of the day for me. I, you know, when, when I go to that flea market, I go specifically because the farm stand sells donuts in the morning and they're really good cinnamon sugar donuts. So I'm like, eh, at least I'll come home with donuts. No, no, I came home with 100% silk yarn, some alpaca, some merino wool, and some wool mohair mix for $35. I, you just, sometimes you never know what you're going to find at the flea market. And yesterday was, or Saturday was my lucky day because the woman said to me that a lot of people stopped and looked at the yarn, but just turned around and walked away because I think she had $10 marked on this. And of course I talked her down, but I don't think a lot of people understood what they were looking. She said that most of, she had a lot of the, um, Hobby Lobby dollar skeins. Those went like that. And what was left was this. And I'm like, okay, they didn't know what they were looking at because if anybody who knows yarn saw this for ten dollars, would would have tried to talk her down and then run out the lot with it. I had an armful. All this was in my arms, and I was like, okay, will you take thirty five dollars for this? And she looked at me, and her husband was standing over there, and went, yes. So, <laughs> you know, thank God for husbands. But yeah, look at how gorgeous this is all together. You know, won't that be pretty together? I did, you know, I look, nor, purple is not my color, but I really just, so I think, I don't know, now the more I look at this, the more it's too purple. Because it really does, it is purple, but it it's more to the blue purple. And I don't know. Oh my gosh. So now I don't, I'm back to, I don't know what I'm going to make for Judy's birds. I'll figure it out. I always do. Um, I have a couple of squares to do for hip to be squared. So I got a lot going on. I made some progress on my cardigan. I, I finished the back panel. I've started the front panel or one of the front panels because you make two front panels. Um, yeah, it's not going to get done in time for me to wear it a baggy, but that's okay. I've got others to wear. As you saw, I have plenty of cardigans, so I'll, I'll find something to wear. Um, cause it's going to be chilly. I have a feeling it's chilly again this morning. It's only in the fifties this morning. So yeah. Oh, darn it. Just when I thought I had it all figured out, I throw a monkey wrench in my own way. What are you going to do? Oh, well, anyway. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, I'm going to, tomorrow we're going to do a uh, Tunisian Tuesday and we are going to learn the full stitch. Um, it's just, it's a really easy stitch, but it's a very useful stitch. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Um, and then Wednesday, what have we got going on Wednesday? 
I don't even know. We'll figure it out one way or another. Um, I, I, eh, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a fantastic week. Um, you know, take some time for yourself, take care of yourself and give yourself some grace, but above all, be kind to everyone and I'll talk to you tomorrow.